Well, the topic of my lecture today is global warming. But before I talk about that, I'm going to give you some background information about Earth's atmosphere. As you already know, the atmosphere is what we call the layer of gases that surrounds the planet. Since the beginning of Earth, about 4.6 billion years ago, there's been a mixture of gases surrounding the planet. Now, some of these gases are called greenhouse gases. We call them greenhouse gases because they create a greenhouse effect. That is, they make the atmosphere warmer because they absorb heat from the sun. Well, let's look more closely at the interactions that lead to the greenhouse effect. Energy from the sun is the force behind our climate systems. It approaches Earth and enters the outer layers of our atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere acts as a kind of a shield and a filter. It reflects about 30% of the sun's energy back into space. About 70% of it actually passes through the atmosphere. Of that 70%, much of it is absorbed by the clouds and air. Only half of the energy that passes through the atmosphere, about 35%, reaches the Earth's surface, which is warmed by the sun's energy. The Earth emits, or sends, this energy back towards the atmosphere. About 10% of it leaks back into space, but most of the heat stays inside our atmosphere. This process helps to maintain global temperatures within certain limits. It's called a greenhouse effect, because warmth is sealed inside, just like in a greenhouse. We've always had greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. And we've always had a natural greenhouse effect on this planet. But what has happened in the past century or so is that human activities have added more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. As a result, the greenhouse effect has become stronger. With more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, more energy from Earth is absorbed. This has led to a heating of Earth's surface. In the past 100 years, scientists have found an increase of one degree centigrade in the average temperature on Earth. While there has been some debate, I think people have realized that the increased greenhouse effect is causing the problem of global warming. An increase of one degree centigrade in Earth's temperature may not seem like a lot, but it actually causes many changes on our planet. What are the consequences of this increase in Earth's temperature? Today, I'd like to focus on two effects of global warming. The first is an increase in sea level. The sea level has risen over the past 100 years between about 15 and 25 centimeters. It is rising now and will continue to rise in the future. Some of this rise is due to the heating of the ocean surface. When ocean waters warm, they expand or get bigger, and so the sea level rises. Another cause is melting ice and snow. The meltwater is entering the ocean and resulting in a rise in sea level. Changes in the weather are another consequence of global warming. As Earth's temperatures continue to rise, some areas of the world will become wetter and some will become drier. Already, many countries around the world are experiencing more and longer periods of drought. In other words, long periods of time without enough rain. In fact, the amount of land affected by drought has doubled since the 1970s. Another example of weather change is an increase in severe storm activity. Some scientists believe that if global warming continues, we will have more hurricanes. Hurricanes develop over warm oceans, and so the rise in ocean temperatures may cause more and perhaps stronger hurricanes. Today I told you about just two effects of global warming, a rise in sea level and changes in the weather. There are many other consequences of global warming. It's difficult to predict the future, but unless we change the way we do things today, 
which means we must stop relying on fossil fuels for 80% of our energy supply. The amount of greenhouse gases will continue to increase and temperatures will continue to go up. Scientists predict that this century, temperatures will rise to about 3 degrees centigrade higher than they are now. Sea levels are also likely to go higher, about 60 centimeters above their current level. So global warming is a real problem for all of us. It may be the most serious problem in our world today. And I think all of us, as individuals, must take action to solve this problem.